But y'all, y'all need to go like, comment, and subscribe. But anyway, we this is, as you can see in the title, I really don't know what I'm going to name this store. Y'all liking the red? Tell me if y'all liking the red down in the comments below. But yeah, this is going to be the story on how the worst birthday trip ever. Like, overall, I had fun when I went out. But I'm going to tell y'all how and why everything went last so this story time is not written down. This shit coming off the top of my head. Like, so y'all forgive me if it's going around and around and around. Last year, I had made a plan to go to Atlanta for my birthday. To me, personally, I feel like I've never had like a bomb ass birthday. I've never had like a big ass birthday. Never had a party. Never had, oh my God, I'm so ashy, y'all. Hold on. I'm like, cool. I'm going to plan this trip to Atlanta. I've been to Atlanta before, many times before my birthday. So I was like, I know I'm going to have fun when I go. I invited like a whole bunch of my friends. A lot of them was like, they couldn't go because either it was time off, like the wrong time or I don't know. So I was just like, cool. You know, I'm not one to get mad when somebody say they can't come. You can't come, you can't come. Two of my friends was coming with me. One of them, her birthday is like literally... I think, excuse me, like two days before mine. Or We're going to name her B-Day. We're just going to name her B-Day since we and her birthday close. And then my other friend, we're going to name her B. Now, if you're watching this B, <laughs> it's kind of obvious. Like, she's my childhood friend. Like, we're literally family. Well, that's what we call each other, family. So we're going to name her Cookie. We're just going to name Cookie. And then we're going to name her three other friends. One of them plays a major role. Her name is going to be Cookie 2. So it's Cookie, Cookie 2. Other girl name, name is going to be Mouse. And then the other girl is going to be Silent. Because she really didn't have anything to do with this. So, sorry, I'm eating. So, I went ahead and was like, oh my God, I haven't seen my childhood friend in so long. Like, I live in Florida, she lives in Jersey. So, we pretty much, like, we, we've we been like this since, like, young. And we always call each other cousins or whatever. You're like my family. If you're watching this, you already know, you know. It is what it is. Like, there's no shit to them. So, I was like, let me invite her. Like, somehow, I don't even remember how it went about. I think she called me one day on my break and we was chalking it up. Mind you, I'm going to keep this, like... I didn't pay for any hotels for nobody. I didn't pay for any cars for nobody. I didn't pay for nothing. However, I still was generous enough to invite you and your friends. Like, I had no problem with you coming with your friends. First, she bought her tickets. They bought their tickets. Boom. Okay, cool. So, I flew out on a Friday. We went out on a Friday. Friday morning. I vlogged this, y'all. If, if y'all haven't watched it, go watch my birthday vlog. I vlogged the part of it, but in the vlog, like you barely see like a lot of shit going on. Like I want to say we get to Atlanta at like 11 o'clock, right? I booked the, the car with my debit card. Everybody sent their money over and I get to the front desk and they're like, oh, well, you can't rent the van. Actually, it, I have reserved a truck, like a huge ass seven seater truck. And she was like, you can't get it because you're not old enough and they're not going to let you go off the lot with it. Then they try to say like we only have vans, so I'm like okay whatever. At first I was having a bitch fit. I had told the lady I'm like I don't want no van. This is my birthday. I'm not riding around no van. Like I'm not going to Atlanta club in a van, y'all in a van. My friend B and B Day was like, just get it. Like don't be difficult. So I'm like okay I'll get the van. Then I think she said something like I can't use my debit card. <sighs> And I'm like, why would you, why I can't use my debit card? I'm like, I called before, so why all of a sudden I can't use it? She's like, oh, that's just the policy, blah, blah, blah. So now I'm pissed. The fucking B-Day weekend is starting off horrible. I couldn't get it with my credit card because my credit card limit is not as high as what they wanted for that vehicle. Not that I didn't have money on it, it was the limit don't exceed. So shit, time goes by. We're literally like making TikToks in the damn airport. Everybody had like different flights. It was Cookie 2. She was supposed to come first. I called Cookie and I'm like, 
yo, I'm like, could you, they not gonna let me get the rental because of this situation. And I told her, like, I can't use my, my credit card because the limit is not that high. She like, one of your friends can't put it on their credit card. My friend B Day was like, the fuck? Like, why, why, if, if I could, you know, like, why, how do you know I want it on mine? And I understand where B Day was coming from as well because it was just like, and then the impression that we'll have a car. She was like, okay, just wait for Cookie 2 to come and see if she can put on her credit card. So Cookie 2 comes, I'm like, hey, she's a very pretty girl. You know, she look nice, body boom, boom, boom. And then, then I tell her like, what's going on? And she has a little like weary like on her face, like, oh, I don't know, cause I don't know y'all. Which is understandable. But she was like, I'll do it. So she gets it on her car. She didn't leave the airport till like three o'clock. Cause then we had to wait for the other girl to come on. By that time, like we, we go, we go get something to eat. Everybody getting along, like no one knows each other. Remind you, it's two different groups. And we getting along, like all of us like, okay, what y'all want to eat? Like we just looking, looking, looking. We ain't find that this, so we just went to Chick-fil-A. Cause at this point, I feel like everybody was like tired. Everybody was mentally tired. Whatever we talking, like I'm thinking like, okay, the shit getting better. Like, you know, shit can get better. Like, look at us. We went to the Long Hotel the first time. Let me tell y'all, this was the fucked up thing. We went to the wrong hotel the first time because that's what the GPS was telling us. And when we got there, the lady, girl's like, no, it's not this one. It's the one that's like 45 minutes away. 45 minutes away? Because at this point, it's like 4 o'clock right now. It's like 4.30. 4.30, y'all. I got to Atlanta at 11 o'clock. So we like, fuck. So we had to go all the way back to the other hotel. So we get there, we check in, we get up there, whatever. So we in the hotel. And then you guys see in the vlog, I think we was in the hotel around like five something. So one of my, um, B had needed something from the mall and I think B they needed something from the mall and I needed to get a purse or a clutch or something. So we thought, you know, the other girls was gonna come with us. So I text her in the group chat and I'm like, you guys, y'all ready to go to the mall? Like, so we can go look at shit. Cause I think they had needed something too. And the girl was like, yeah, I'm coming. Then afterwards, she texted me back and was like, I'm tired right now. So I could take the van and go and then just come back and I'll go get cookies. I went to the nearest mall or whatever, got the stuff. And so she had texted me was like, hey, can you, can you see if you can get me a wig cap or whatever? Like, you know, I was like, yes, I said, no, it's fine. Like, I could find a beauty supply store and get you a wig cap. Unfortunately, the beauty supply stores was closed by the time we left the mall, so I couldn't get her the wig cap. We go to the liquor store, because I'm like, at this point, I need a drink. I need a drink, because I'm stressed out, and it's my birthday, and I ain't drunk yet. So I'm like, why am I, why am I not drunk? So I go, I get me a big-ass bottle of Patron or whatever. So, like, uh, Cookie 2 texts me, like, oh, you know, since you guys are already out, and it's getting late, and I don't think I'm going to make it on time to get Cookie, can y'all just go pick up Cookie? Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I did not wanna go because I wanted to make sure that I got ready and looked cute. But that's my bitch, that's my family. So I'm like, fuck it, yeah, I'm gonna go. So I told her, okay, cool, I'll go. So I think the airport was like, remember, 45 minutes away. So Cookie already like rushing me. She's like, yo, where you at? Like, I'm here, I'm waiting, whatever. I'm like, I'm coming, I'm trying to come as fast as I can. Mind you, y'all. I don't know in Atlanta, like, I'm not from Atlanta. I don't know how the roads is. I don't know, you know, I don't know how the police is out there. So, like, I'm low-key speeding on the freeway, but I'm risking it because I'm trying to hurry up and come get you. So, I finally get there or whatever, and it kind of seems like there's a little attitude, but not really. She's like, hey, da -da 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 we hug or whatever. Everybody say hello. Boom, I'm like, I got a drink for y'all already or whatever. So, I give them a little shot. So we finally get back to the hotel. Uh, um, get ready or whatever. Let's meet each other within like an hour. So I'm like an hour. I'm like cookie. Like it's my birthday. I'm not. It's not gonna take me an hour to get ready. It's gonna be more than that. And she's like, bitch. Like no, you don't need that. You don't need like. I get ready in 20 minutes. I go upstairs. Everybody gets ready. I did my makeup or whatever. They was just really waiting on me. She she texts me like three times. She like, where you at? Like we ready to go? Like blah blah blah. So then they come downstairs. They come upstairs to my room and they like, where you at? Like, go downstairs to the van and like she facetimes me and she's like, yo, I'm gonna leave you. They start laughing. I'm just kidding, but for real, y'all, come on. Leave me. How the fuck you gonna leave me? We all paying for this, Marcel. 
Now let me skip back a little bit though. Before Cookie 2 got that rental, I said to Cookie on the phone before Cookie 2 even got to the airport, cause I was gonna say, y'all get your own rental, we'll get our own rental. Cause at this point I was really just about to ask one of my friends to put the money on their card. Like, so like, she's like, no, 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 she'll do it, da, 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 da. So that's how that happened. So I refund everybody back their money from the car rental. Then I tell the girl, the Cookie 2, I'm like, you want me to pay you now for the rental? She was like, no. All right, so fast forward, we're back. And I was like, you, I, um, I paused and I was like, you can't, I said, leave me. You can't leave me, it's my birthday. Hey, why are you, why is it like you trying to show out in front of them? Like, why are we doing this? So finally I'm ready, we get downstairs, like we all get in the car, we go, boom. I think we had went to one club that this one guy was like, it's lit or whatever, but when we got there, it was horrible. They went in, the other two girls went in first. I was like, y'all let us know if it's, you know, lit, then we'll go inside. So while they're doing that, I asked B, I'm like, B, flick me up. Um, and honestly, I think I was a little annoyed already from, from, that, from that statement. So I really felt like because I was annoyed, like my face just was not it was not it like every picture my face was angry cookie and cookie two come back in the car so cook i guess cookie took b's uh phone off the charger and put her phone on the charger without asking whose charger it was um b had turned around and she was like oh let me get my phone so i could take a picture of you because your phone come out blurry so she's like okay oh, y'all pass my phone so b was realized that her phone wasn't on the charger so she was like who took my phone off the charger so cookie's like oh i put my phone on the charger she was like you need it like that so b was like yeah that's my charger after this it went to shit because now everybody got a fucking attitude we get into the club we go to the next club that shit kind of like a little dead in the beginning but <clears throat> it actually turned out to be fucking lit okay i had so much fun but I noticed like Cookie acting weird again. Like she walking away with her friend Cookie 2 and silent and mouth. Um, I guess her and Cookie 2 had found some niggas. Over. However, as time goes by, Cookie texts me and she's like, where are you at? So I text her back and I'm like, I'm in the same spot that you left me. So she's like, come over here. Like we got a band for y'all. We got a section or whatever. Side note, I just want to add in here because I don't want you guys to feel like we was just feeding off of them the whole weekend. Niggas was trying to talk to us, but they was broke. They ain't had <laughs> no sex shit, no money, whatever. And we really wasn't paying attention to anybody. I did my own thing with my group of friends. They walked away and did their own thing. And then that's when she texted me. So I'm like, oh, okay, so they must have like talked to one of the dudes and one of the dudes had a section. Like, she was just talking to her friends or whatever. So I'm doing my own thing. Like me and my friends, we lit, bro. So we throwing them bitches back, go oh, back, back to back to back to back. So I don't think um, B-Day wasn't, she wasn't really drinking like that. She was, but she wasn't drinking like me and B. Me and B was throwing them bitches back. B as had a fucking cups like this, calling these shit shots a julio and she throwing them bitches back throwing them back so we literally like we lit in the, in the club and at this point the room is spinning and the music is loud as fuck but it's not loud as fuck like i'm in that kind of trance at this moment right now so i'm not paying attention to nobody i'm dancing i'm minding my own business and i really feel like they didn't like that because i was having fun in in that section the guy that i guess got the section he was over there like you know like gassing me i don't even realize the dj was gassing me up until i listened to the video that was recorded like i was in my own world just you know having fun that shit got packed that shit was lit we did it from whatever now we get to the moment where b gets drunk as fuck like drunk like i was throwing them shits back but she was like i told you them shots was like this throwing them bitches back so she is fucking lit. So we go to the bathroom. I don't even remember how it got so bad because we was good while we were standing up and everything. Like, we was good. Once we moved and went to the bathroom, it was over. Like, it was over, bro. I almost cried. I always tell her, like, I almost cried because she was so bad. Like, and I could not get her up. Like, it was just, it wasn't it wasn't functioning like she walked out the club she walking down the street drunk as hell like i'm like come back come back mind you 
I got on heels and my heels is like leaning to the side. My ankles leaning to the side. I'm walking. I'm trying to walk as fast as I can, but I'm, I'm still drunk. And I'm trying to sober up real quick because I don't want nothing to happen to my friend. I finally get a hold of her. We get back to the door. The man like, she can't come here like that. I'm like, she's not, she's not, she's gonna sober up. So I'm looking at her, I'm like, you can't come in there like that. So she's like, okay, okay, okay. So he finally let us back in or whatever. And then um, we get back in. So I think by the time we had got back in, the club closed, because Atlanta clubs closed early. So we leave or whatever. And I, bro, like people are laughing at us. I see people laughing because we trying to carry my friend out the club. Mind you, like I said, my heels leaning to the side and leaning, ankles leaning. <clears throat> Finally, we get into the into the car. B is like sitting there, and like, all of a sudden, I'm like, because I'm like, you can't hang, you can't make a fun of her, whatever. Recording. Next thing you know, she throws up in her sleep, and it's just like, I'm sorry, B. I love you so much. She get mad every time I tell the story, but I have to tell it. It's a part of the story. That was like the highlight though of my trip. Like I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed seeing her like free and out and just, you know, living life. So she threw up and then we had got back to the hotel. So this is when it gets, it's like as time went by, it got worse and worse. So we get back to, to the hotel or whatever. And we literally like have to carry her out the van. We have to get two of the, the front desk to help us take her all the way up to the room. I done said her name so many times. I'm like, B, B, B. I done said her name so many times. The freaking front desk clerks, they knew her name. They was like, B, come on, come on, B. Like, we all like just trying to help her up there. We was gonna put her in a wheelchair, but went down to their room to go get the key for the van. So we go get breakfast. And she says something to me like, Hey, yo, she gotta clean that door up. Because she threw up in the car and her ass gonna roll her eyes at me. Because what you're not gonna do is, is do this in front of these people that I don't know. Like, chill. Like, we're gonna get it clean. I was like, you have to excuse, like, everybody gets drunk. That happens to people. Like, you know, it's, it's gonna get clean. Don't worry about it. We come back, right? Give her the key or whatever. They ready. They go. Literally, we come, we got back to the room at, like, maybe 12 1 these motherfuckers took the key and went the whole day y'all to brunch and i didn't find out they went to brunch until after let me tell y'all how i'm texting after a while i think it hit like five six o'clock and i'm like yo where y'all at like we're waiting like i'm ready to go to the trap museum we're supposed to then go she's like oh yeah we coming back soon time goes on no response, no call, no nothing. I'm calling the girl Cookie too. Phone going straight to voicemail. I call Cookie, um, Cookie again. No answer. I text you now. No response. I'm ready to freaking smack me somebody. Like I'm ready to smack somebody head off. I go look on her story on Instagram to go see like if I see anything. I don't see nothing. Weird as fuck. And at this point, I didn't know that you could block somebody from watching your story. My close friend blocked me from her story with her new friends. So I couldn't see what she was doing. I see something on her story. So like she must have um, blocked me. Maybe she felt bad or she didn't want it to look bad. That just stirred me different. So I'm like really trying to stay calm and be and be days like you're doing a good job like but that's fucked up but you're doing a good job so i voice i call no answer so I, after that i voice memo her ass like you wrong for that like why would you i'm like why would you go and go to brunch and block me from your store from watching you knowing i wanted to go to the trap museum knowing it's my birthday i said you got some nerve to not invite me why would you do that like why would you and i'm calling you no answer i said it's okay i think i told her like it's okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna do you know whatever Another thing I forgot to say was, my thing was, why the fuck y'all didn't tell us? If y'all didn't want me riding in the van, why the fuck y'all didn't say something? We could've took Uber to, um, what is this shit called? We could've took Uber, and then we also could've took Uber to the club or whatever, because that's what I was about to do. I was getting dressed, and I was gonna take an Uber to go to the club. Like, I was not gonna wait on the ass. But, here's how it turned out. So, I'm doing my makeup or whatever. I'm getting ready, um, because I still wanted to go out. She was like, do you, I need to talk to you or something like that. So, I go downstairs. 
so I forgot to say what I had like when she called me downstairs I basically was like what's up I told her like I don't appreciate how you you know treating this like it's your birthday this is my birthday I was like I don't understand why you acting like that but that shit ain't cool and I told her like you fucked up for that you left me after she came up with those excuses I'm like nah you left me and you did not answer the phone and I said that's fucked up because you did not invite us to where oh it wasn't supposed to be like that we supposed to go get breakfast turn into a brunch party but all kind of bullshit after you lied and told me you was coming then y'all turn off y'all phones then you blocked me from your story like that's a friend y'all is that a friend so, I know y'all gonna ask, like, okay, so what was the excuse? Like, why she wasn't answering her phone? So, I forgot to put this in there, but she had made up some excuse as to why they didn't answer. I think she said something like her friend, cook, she said Cookie 2 phone was dead, and she didn't have any service, um, and she had just turned it on before she came back, and it was some more other shit, but it was, you know, clearly it was a lie, because I was able to view her story afterwards, and they definitely went to brunch. So, yeah, keep watching. Oh, well, your friend, she rolled her eyes at me. This is when she told me, y'all. She's like, her, your friend, she rolled her eyes at me about the charger thing, and after that, it was a wrap. Like, she lucky, I don't blah, 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 blah. So I ain't gonna get into all that extra shit. But she was just going independent. In my opinion, like, if you felt some type of way, you should have said something right then and there. And it would have been done. You know what I mean? Like, some people look at it like, no, it probably would have been worse. But no, you could have said a little something like, I'm sorry. Because at the end of the day, you have to realize when you're wrong. You took that girl charger and you took her phone off the charger and put yours on it. Over a charger, y'all. A charger. So this is your reasoning for leaving me and blocking me off social media. We, I go in the room now and the girl's like, oh, you look pretty, you look nice, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay. So Cookie talking more her shit, right? So I like put a stop to that shit like in front. I'm like, yo, stop, like enough, stop, it's done. Like we're not talking about that no more. Like get up, get ready, let's go, I'm ready to go. <clears throat> okay, but only because of you, like I'm not gonna yada, 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 yada. Ain't it only because of me? Because if it was only because of me, you would have never, your ass would have never gotten that van and left the whole day on my birthday. I ain't get no happy birthday, I ain't get no nothing. So it was not because of me. Mind you, I had already went to this club that we went to. She got ready afterwards. Mind you, y'all, my Patron bottle that I bought for me, I don't know how, I think I had left it in the van. But they had my Patron bottle in the room. So I'm like, how y'all got my Patron bottle? So I'm like, y'all get ready. They get ready. I'm not gonna lie, they got ready fast. And they, they, they got ready fast, yeah. In like maybe 20 minutes. <clears throat> so me and B-Day went with them. B said, nah, I'm staying. B had already had a hangover. She didn't feel good. And then she really wasn't feeling the vibes. Like, um, we get to the, uh, we, first we go to this, like, I think it was kind of like a bar. And, like, a lot of people was there. It was packed. Like, you could have hoop. We stayed there for, like, 15 to 20 minutes. Drewski too funny. He was there or whatever. I guess um, Cookie 2 knows him. Like, no, all of them. Their whole group knows him. So, he had um, bought drinks for all of us or whatever. We went, we saw him, we kicked it with him for a little bit, and then we left. We didn't even really kick it with him. Like, he bought us the drinks. I think he was around for, like, two minutes, and he went back to his little crowd. So then we leave. And then, mind you, as we walking out, it's like this guy. Like, he keep pulling on me, pulling on me, and I'm like, mm. So we leave or whatever. So then we go to the, this lit-ass club. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. We went to this lit-ass club that I've already been to before previously when i went to atlanta so we get in or whatever um cookie too like i said she's beautiful she got a banging ass body you know that bbl be doing real good so she had met this one nigga that i guess he had a section or whatever so we had went in um we was able to go backstage then backstage was like a little crowded and i didn't like it so we went to like one of the other little booths or whatever and um we was lit like we was lit for a while we had fun or whatever i kind of let bygones be bygones like baby said so the guy that that um got us into the club or whatever and that was with cookie too he was talking like very talkative to me and b-day and to me like when i looked over to my right Cookie and Cookie too, then I look happy about that. We leave or whatever, we go to uh, Waffle House, we get our food or whatever. Now at this time now, it's time for us to go back to the hotel, pack our shit and leave. So we get up or whatever, we go down, everybody get their stuff, we go down to the car, now it's mad tension in the car. Like everybody's quiet as hell, that shit quiet now. Cause at this point, of course, I had already shared what was going on with B and B-Day, and I'm pretty sure, you know, of course, they had their little own conference or whatever. Yeah, so, um, it's tension in the car or whatever, so we gotta go get gas. 
so we all need to chip in for the gas but at this point like i feel like they should have paid for the gas because we didn't go up and about yeah we went to the mall but that was really it after that we all went to the same places but y'all went up and about saturday forgot about me blocked me from the story didn't call me didn't answer none of that mind you we had all been in a group chat i said that in the beginning of the story I'm like, y'all, everybody cash at me or send me y'all money for gas. And I hop out the van and I go put the money on my car, pay for the gas. Mind you, it's raining and it's cold. It was getting cold. And I'm like, so nobody's gonna move? I don't hear nobody else saying nothing about sending me money for gas. We get to the um, airport, everybody parts ways or whatever. And we hop on the plane. So we get back to Florida. They get back to how the girl Cookie 2 was asking for her money for the rental. And I guess they had charged her some gas refill shit. And I'm like, why the fuck would they charge you gas refill when I already paid for it? So you need to deal with them with that. So now she's trying to get everybody to pay the money. So I tell Cookie 2, like, yo, give her the money. Cause it was some money that I um it was something else that I had spent. And I was like, give, give um her the money that I used on the gas for everybody. And it was something else I forgot what it was that I paid for and I did not get my money back. So um, she was like, okay, I got you. I'll give her the money for that. But what about the other girls? So I'm like, what about them? Like, I tell B and, and, and B Day, they like, no, we're not giving her shit because we didn't drive in it. We're not giving her no, no money on the rental. So um, they basically were like, no. So. This shit like rides out for like a week. The girl Cookie 2 constantly texting me like, hey, like it's not fair that I have to pay for this. This shit came out of my credit card. It wasn't disrespectful, but it was annoying because she was like harassing me almost every day about the shit. And when we got back to Florida, I told Cookie, like I didn't go into detail. Comment down below if y'all think I should tell Cookie how I really feel about everything. But I didn't go into detail, but I did let her know, like, when we got back, I was like, you know, that was wrong. Um, and I don't feel like we should have to pay for anything because y'all took the car and did not call me, no nothing. I was like, you know, it was my birthday. So I did voice the, my opinion on how it was wrong or whatever. I ain't make it like a big thing like, bitch, da 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 I ain't do none of that. I just told her, like, look, that was wrong and I don't feel like we have to do anything. And um, so the girl cookie too kept texting me whatever. And after a while, I got sick of the bullshit. And I just texted her back and I was like, here's so-and-so number. You can call them because they all grown. I'm not, I was like, I'm not responsible for anybody. And I do understand, you know, you want your money. I said, but it, at this point, it doesn't have anything to do with me anymore. And whatever, B cussed her out because she had to try to slander her and say, y'all broke bitches. Y'all couldn't even pay y'all half on the rental. Y'all couldn't even rent the car. And then B Day had gave her like forty dollars was like that's all you getting. She pissed like she felt like we done fucking dubbed on her ass. But at the same time, it's like no, y'all left us. B was like I ain't give for what she said to me. She ain't getting it. And then B Day was like she gonna get forty dollars and that's it. So that's just what it was, y'all. That's the end of the story time. Um, please y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below and, and tell me if I if i was wrong for not like telling my friends they need to pay her the money or if um like what would you do in the situation she would never be the same between me and her she would never be the same i like 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 oh, wait um follow me on ig at it's barbie a and then follow me on my uh business page melanin barbie the brand go to my website at www.themelaninbarbie.com all right see ya